Hi, my name is Nick Hollander, and this is how I stepped out in courageous faith. I'm currently a second year, a sophomore, over at uh, St. Martin's University. Um, great education, great faculty, great teachers. Um, and up to this point, I have gotten a lot of financial aid. I've truly been blessed by God in this. I've truly been blessed by St. Martin's. Um, but going into the school year, I still had $7,000 that I had to pay. And so I'd been trying to get my FAFSA figured out. I had uh, resubmitted it multiple times and everything seemed to be going against it and nothing was really moving forward. And I pretty much had, at the time, two weeks to have a plan and make my payment. $7,000 is, is not feasible uh, for me. It's just not, it's not feasible for my family and I was stuck and I didn't quite know what to do. Um, now in the middle of all that, uh, we as a church were starting the Courageous Faith campaign um, and I was involved with different uh, service planning elements or youth worship of course and I also decided to start a small group on my St. Martin's campus to really uh, help grow the young adults ministry and connect uh, my school to here but really everything seemed easy um, there wasn't a whole lot um, that was challenging me there wasn't any need for me to step out in faith it was just simple um, of course once I kind of got comfortable in that thinking um, that's when God kind of challenged me um, how that happened was we uh, in different services had been talking about making financial commitments uh, I've heard Dave talk about it, heard it in different children's ministries. Um, but for myself, I wasn't planning on making a financial commitment, um, especially not for this first six to ten weeks. Um, really, I couldn't. Now, that slightly changed when uh, on a Wednesday night, it was for youth, and we had mason jars lined up up front, and each student was supposed to take one and uh, kind of write down what kind of financial commitment they wanted to make, what did they want to give uh, in this next journey that we're on. And right there is when I felt God say to me, I want you to give a thousand dollars. And that completely shocked me. Um, really, I wasn't at a place where I could. Uh, and I was slightly frustrated with God because He knew I wasn't able, I wasn't capable of doing that. Um, I even wrote down in my notebook, uh, I think God is wanting me to give a thousand dollars, dot dot dot, but I have no clue how. Um, and that's genuinely where I was at that moment. So on October 5th was uh, the day that I felt like God was asking me to give that thousand dollars. And then on the very next day, October 6th, I was at um, Starbucks applying for jobs. And I ended up on a phone call with my dad, and he proceeded to tell me that uh, my school balance was completely paid for. Uh, the school was actually sending me a check for $500, and in addition to that, I'd be getting an additional uh, $1,700 both this semester and next semester. And I was in complete shock and awe uh, because the day before, I had nothing, and the next day um, I could give the thousand dollars that God was asking me to give. And in all my years being in this church, uh, I've never necessarily been challenged in my faith like that. And seeing Him pull through and come through, literally not even 24 hours later, um, it really opened my eyes to. Um, how big the God that I serve is and that I can rely on that same God for the rest of my life and every time that he will challenge me in the future I can trust that he's on my side and that he's for me um, and so really this opportunity gave me uh, the chance to really step out in courageous faith and internalize that and understand what that means. I can't tell you how grateful I am uh, to have a God that when I step out in courageous faith, 
I know for a fact he'll catch me.